Okay, so you saw the title. Let's get right into it today. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a custom version of ChatGPT using your own data for personal use or for your business. And we're going to do this for free. It's super easy. It takes like two minutes. Now, if you go to chatgpt.com, like the official OpenAI one, they will make you spend like $20 for ChatGPT Plus to create a custom chatbot. And if you want to share it with anybody, they also have to spend $20 for ChatGPT Plus to use your custom chatbot. That's not fun at all. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use Chatbase. It's super easy and only takes a few minutes to set up. There's zero code required. You don't need to have any existing skills. I will help you every step of the way. They have a free plan that lets you build up to one chatbot for free. And you can share that chatbot with your friends. You can embed it on a website, whatever you want. It's trained on your custom data. So that's way better than using ChatGPT Plus. So let's do that. All right, let's get into it. To get started, you're going to need to go to chatbase.co. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create an account. All you need is an email address. Next, you're going to need to give your account a team name, anything you want. All right, now creating the chatbot only takes a few clicks. First, click the new chatbot button and start uploading all of your data. You're able to upload up to 400,000 characters on the free plan, which is a ton. That should be plenty of information for your chatbot to work with. When it comes to data sources, the simplest option is to crawl a website if you have one, but you have several other options, including Notion, which is incredible. For our purposes here, I'm just going to crawl this example website this might take a few minutes depending on how big the website is, if you have a lot of blog posts or whatnot. Okay, so as you can see, Chatbase found a lot of characters across all the pages of the site. We are capped at 10 links on the free plan, so I am going to remove a couple that aren't necessary. Okay, that should be plenty. As soon as you're ready, click Create Chatbot. Okay, now our chatbot is trained and ready to go, but you're probably going to want to customize it a little bit more to fit your exact use case. So what we're gonna do is go to settings and I'm gonna show you some of the options you have to work with. So for the AI model, by default, we're set to GPT-40. As of releasing this video, that is the latest model and it's also the most cost efficient choice. So leave that alone, don't change it. It's super smart. Below that, you can customize the AI's system prompt. This is where you can change its personality and just affect how it interacts with the user of the chatbot. For me, I always find that the AI is a little wordy. So that's a little bit too much. So I like to add a little prompt there that shortens its responses. So under limitations inside the instructions, I will change it to say, make sure the answers you provide are concise. Do not write long paragraphs of text. You could say whatever you want. You could try that, you could change it. You could leave it alone, whatever you want to do. You can make it funnier or whatever you want to do, whatever fits your brand. And now below that, you can change the creativity level of your chatbot. And so if it's all the way to the left, what you'll find is that it's not going to deviate at all from the data it has to work with from your information you provided. So that's probably the safest bet and you can just move it further to the right to make it more fun or engaging or whatnot. But it might, you know, take some liberties and change things that aren't exactly in the training data. So that's up to you to test for yourself and figure out what you prefer. For me, I'm just going to set it to 0.4 for now and then click save. The last thing we're going to do is customize the appearance of your chatbot. First, let's add a few suggested messages. These are really important because they're going to influence how your user interacts with your chatbot or how you want to interact with your chatbot. So add a few messages. For example, you might say, how do I get started or something like that. And now when the user clicks that little button, it will prompt the chatbot to give an answer to that suggested message. So it'll explain how to get started. Next, you can add a profile picture here. So this could be anything. It could be a cartoon. It could be a picture of your face, whatever it is, whatever you know what you're building. So change it to whatever works for you. And then below that, you can add a brand color or whatever color you want that matches your chatbot to your website if you're embedding it or if you're just sharing it as a link, it doesn't really matter, so whatever you like. All right, you're done, the chatbot is ready to go, so now you can share it with your coworkers, your friends, maybe embed it on a website, whatever you want to do, however you wanna use it. And so to do that, you're just gonna click the share button and then copy the link, and then you have it ready to go. This is what it looks like, beautiful, almost just looks like iMessage. As you can see, there's the suggested message buttons below that can help you the user get started. You can see that it's 
referencing some of the training data. All right, thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you out, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want more videos on how to use Chatbase, please hit the subscribe button. There's way more on the way. I just finished a full video that goes over everything on Chatbase in detail, all the details for every plan. You should totally watch that if you're interested in using Chatbase in your business. Don't forget to sign up for free using the link below. All right, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.